approaching when whites were falling sacrificed to the blacks. That day came on January 8, 1811. The uprising made news around the world and shook the foundations of slavery at home in Louisiana. The largest slave rebellion that took place uh, within the territorial limits of the United States uh, was in fact uh, led and organized by an immigrant, if you will, uh, a black man who had been a slave on the island of St. Domingue, who was a driver on a plantation there in St. Charles Parish. To the planters, they were brigands and bandits, but to their fellow slaves, Charles de Londe and his followers were revolutionaries. Soon their ranks grew to as many as 500, according to some estimates. The rebels' objective was to travel River Road and attack New Orleans. According to one of the slaves, once in the city, their goal was simply détruire les blancs, that is, to kill the whites. Less than a day's journey from their target, they were halted at Destrehan Plantation. We have been so happy as to meet the brigands. Their colors displayed in full arrogance, we rushed upon their troops, of whom we made considerable slaughter. Well armed, the Plantis militia was joined by federal troops and artillery. Soon the fields and marshes were littered with the corpses of slaves. When the revolt was over, two whites had been killed. According to official records, 66 slaves lost their lives. Patrols later discovered many more bodies. Those that were thought to be leaders of the uh, uprising or those that had committed any major crime, they were summarily tried at Destrehan Plantation. They were executed, their heads were cut off and uh, put on stakes along the Mississippi River to remind other slaves of the consequences of rebellion. All over the country, Within a matter of months, people were talking about this rebellion in Louisiana. Now, for those persons who were anti-slavery, say, this is a warning. If you don't watch out, your slaves are going to rise up in rebellion. They're going to cut your throat. To those people, of course, who believe that slavery is very profitable, the solution was that it had to be made more secure. Unless there is order and subordination kept up amongst the Negroes, they would soon be masters instead of slaves. For though they are black, they have as great a propensity to command and be tyrants as white people generally have. Creoles and Anglos had disagreed on many things in the past. But it was clear now that they shared a stake in the growing plantation economy and in slavery. <laughs> 